What's up everybody, Drew right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about a newsletter that just came out for Ready or Not. This one is called Agency. Briefing number 38. Brought to us again by the very generous Kaminsky, who is also a part of the community management team at Void Interactive. Alright, let's get into it. It starts off with saying, Attention officers, welcome to our 38th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. Today we'll be showing off the first look of our future levels agency. Volume 34 development update introduces the prime suspect of this level, Mr. George Bigsley. Owner and main ancient of Bigsley Talent time talent time what the hell is that supposed to is it like a like a set like a cartoon set or something or is it like one of those things where if you want to make it big you got to go into my little talent show or something like that interesting moving on to the next thing the row the row is one of the poorest areas in los suenos and is often avoided by the general public months of trash accumulates on the curbs Clothes hang on the windows waiting to be stained by the smell of smoke, and makeshift tents of the homeless litter the sidewalks. Meanwhile, Briggsley Talent Time looms right in the middle of it. We got our first picture here. This looks like the other end of the street, uh, where we start off on like the left side over there and come this way. Kind of looks like it. And then the agency is across the road, I think, over here, if I'm not mistaken. This is just like a gigantic thing right here, though. What does worthy mean exactly? That we're not worthy? That we're worthy to come in here? Like, I don't know. Do they have like their own little society here or what's going on? But yeah, you could definitely tell that it's a lot more textured. See all the tents here, all the broken down vehicles. Well, I don't even know if they're broken down. They just look really old and decrepit, but it's interesting. Underneath this picture, it says, the choking smog leaves inhabitants wondering what they're exactly worthy of. I don't know, to be killed off? But it's interesting. Underneath this is another picture. We got some graffiti that I think we've actually seen before in the meth map, if I'm not mistaken. It kind of looks like a copy and paste here, but this stuff on the outskirts look very dirty. It's like a makeshift uh, house right here for a homeless guy. To a little tarp underneath, because it looks like it'll get muddy if he decides to lay on the cold, wet ground. I'm trying to read the graffiti here, it just says, let's fuck. That shows a lady right there. Fuck me. Eyes right there interesting picture this looks like the back alley i remember there being like vehicles kind of like in the middle of the map when we went from one building to another but uh yeah underneath this picture it says life finds a way even in harsh environments underneath this is another picture this is that one side where it looked like they were going to do a puzzle where they had like a trash can that was hanging on the stairs there and the stairs would like fall down if you shot off the trash can but it doesn't look like they're going to be doing that that kind of sucks it would have been really cool to see that happen like fall down like that or maybe they are going to do that and they already shot it down like i can't really tell i doubt it though but underneath this picture it says you can't walk the streets of the road without seeing police cars posted at every alley do they call it the row because it's supposed to be like a saints row type of deal well, i don't know but yeah i've been through this alley when i was untextured and it looks like they've added quite a bit it made it look really messy interesting to say the least but moving on from this we've got briggsley's playground briggsley talent time is a filthy place disgustingly decorated with children's toys clothing and photographs used as a front for talent scouting this this place is a breeding ground for sexual assault, pornography, and financial abuse. And yeah, we got like this broken down looking building that actually has freaking plants growing out of it with a bunch of like kid clothing all around and toys to attract children, I'm sure. Probably connected to the uh, Valley of the Dolls map if I had to guess. Underneath that it says, it's highly unlikely Briggsley invested in a washer and dryer or a janitor. I'm gonna have to agree with this one. Approach with caution as Briggsley may not be acting alone in his repulsive schemes. He has a lot to lose and a present self for life if captured. That man has a face you could see in your nightmares. A challenge for even a mother to love. Well, that's kind of harsh. It's weird that they're making me feel sympathy for this guy. Why do you do this, Void? Why? And another picture here of what looks like the back room of where his office might be, maybe? An interesting pink looking door there. Underneath this picture, it says, I don't envy the investigator that has to catalyze all those photos. Oh, oh boy. I don't either. What a sick bastard. But underneath this picture is another one. It looks like the bathroom is all messed up. That's a lot of caution on that one. I wonder, wonder what the hell happened in there. Looks like there's like a bunch of toys like jammed into the toilet or something. I doubt it's going to get fixed anytime soon. There's a bunch of like notes on here. More lore. Underneath this it says, The locks on these bathroom doors wouldn't make anyone feel safer. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? What is that implying? Kids get assaulted in bathrooms? In conclusion, this concludes our 38th bi-weekly briefing, showing a first look at one of our upcoming levels, Agency. Be sure to tune in next time for more development news. And that pretty much does it for this newsletter. Oh wait, what's this? Are you a content creator on YouTube or Twitch looking for new games? We've got you covered right here now as part with Lurkit to elevate your gameplay. Make sure you follow us here. Uh, I tried clicking on this website, but it doesn't look like it's actually doing anything. So I'm assuming that's not going to work out for me. I could try with a different browser. I don't even know what Lurkit is. Well, it doesn't even seem to be working in my other browser. I guess I'm not doing that.
But before we head on out, there was a couple of dev updates that were released, so let's take a quick look at those. Uh, we got a first picture of what looks like the bridge line map again, I guess. They're kind of just like standing here looking at the terrain. I don't see anything too significant with this, but maybe you see something that I don't see. I mean, obviously it looks a little more texture. It looks a little better. Lighting looks pretty good, but uh, other than that, I don't see anything too crazy. This one was posted by Rapolio. This next one was posted by Grunter. Uh, I don't see see anything man? i mean i guess this might be a new gun but i don't know i think i've seen this one before i'm not too sure the only thing that he wrote here is woohoo but i'm not sure if this like I, you guys have to tell me what i'm not seeing here because i'm not a gun nut so i don't know what the hell is different or new or maybe they make it so that the hand actually comes up here more like i don't know not too sure but the next one here is of let's on the audio for this okay the audio is on this one is essentially making it so that uh bullets can actually bounce off of things now they can ricochet depending on the caliber and you can see kind of like some bullets over here Yeah, see, like, it bounces off and fucking killed this guy, that ricochet. And they kind of, like, show it off here, uh, the way that it kind of works. So, bouncing up, bouncing over here, and then there, and... Yeah, that's that's pretty cool, actually, the way that they did this. But, Rapoli explains it a little bit further. He says, bullets can ricochet off of metal, stone, concrete, and hard materials. And ammo type will be determined ricochet chance. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well... I guess that about do it. Uh, one thing that I will probably mention here is that if you want to look at the transcripts for the previous AMA, they have them here in announcements. Uh, Kaminsky actually posted the transcript of what they did. I'd say I put a link to it, but all you got to do, like I have the Discord in the description. So if you want to check it out, you can definitely do that. And it's just pretty much all the questions that we read or heard. I have a long video of it too, if you want to listen to it. I pretty much cut it down so that it's just basically the question and the answers but yeah the ama in transcript form is here so just thought i'd let you know but yeah that pretty much does it for ready or not news so i'm gonna end it here if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like ready or not then be sure to like the video share the video comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or hop on the drop button send a thank you any donation helps if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on ready or not or any other game that i decide to cover and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye